The multiband imager is another great tool that will help you get a better, cleaner mix. You can place audio tracks in the stereo field independently in up to four bands, allowing you to expand or reduce the stereo width of your sound. The individual scope and correlation displays help you get your panning absolutely perfect. Let's check it out. What Imager allows you to do is to expand or reduce the stereo width of your audio in up to four frequency bands. Let me show you how this works. First of all, you can change the number of frequencies just like Squasher. So if I want less bands, I can say I want just three, two, or just one band, but Imager excels at multiple frequency bands. For example, I can change the width of just the low mids, narrow down my low end so that it's more mono and compact, and I can pan each band individually. Let me give you an example. I have this orchestra group right here, and maybe I want to enhance the stereo information for the low mids and the high mids so that it sits better in my track. So as you can see, I can change the width of each band individually. For example, I might want to have my top end super wide, but my low end, I might want to narrow it down a little bit. Let's listen to this now. So this way I can bring out this air for the high-end frequencies, I can make this orchestra sit well in a busy pop track like I have right here. Now it doesn't stop there, I can also change the panning for each band, like this. Now this allows me to get some really interesting pseudo stereo effects. Let's say you have a mono track of an orchestra and you want to kind of make it sound stereo, you put it on a stereo bus and then you pan your low mids, your high mids and your top end at a slightly different place in the panorama and then you get a stereo image like you're panning the instruments in your orchestra where you're actually panning the frequency bands. That might be a very cool trick if you have mono material that you want to revive. And it goes without saying that the imager works great on mixes. Let's try it on this mix. As you can see, it really breathes a new life into this mix. And the great thing is we have a correlation meter on every band so that we can see if we have any phase issues and if our mix is mono compatible. And I can actually double check this with the multi panorama plugin here with supervision. Let's see how it looks when we have a low band at 100% width. And as you can see, we have quite a bit of stereo information in the low end. Now, if I want to make this a little bit more compact and make sure that my low end is mono, I can just turn my width all the way down. And now you see that my low end cleans up and it's nice and mono now. So there you go. The Imager allows you to take total control of your stereo imaging on single tracks or your master bus.